Hi there guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. I've been in the field for more than 10 years, a very, very busy practice. And we see a lot of patients with diabetes and hormonal disorders. And today I'm going to talk to you about something very important. So I get this question sometimes, I watch some other videos and it comes to me. Is moderation okay? Should you eat in moderation? Or should you eat in extreme? So when you have diabetes, do you have to just quit all the carbohydrates or can you eat in moderation? So it's not uncommon for people to get scared and stop eating carbohydrates totally. But then how long that lasts? God knows. It is really not a long-term solution because carbs are everywhere. God created carbs for a reason. Now, why some people think that the moderation will kill you? Well, First of all, moderation will not kill you. Moderation, everything in life in moderation is the way to go. Now, anything in extreme, as you can imagine, also not good for you, not good for anybody. So when you go totally no carb at all, you are basically eliminating a lot of vitamins and minerals and fibers, antioxidants. So... And I think, you know, it's okay to go on a very low carbohydrate for a while to resume uh, the body's function, to be able to uh, get your pancreas, start working again, reduce your cholesterol, reduce your um, uh, sugar levels. But the bottom line is you will have to have some fruits and vegetables in your diet because, you know, just eating red meat every day, um, just eating butter every day and bacon every day is just not a long-term solution. Plus, it's not very healthy either. Uh, you have to have polyunsaturated fats, monounsaturated fats, and plensterols in your uh, diet. And we have explained that in the previous video where we talked about how to lower your cholesterol naturally. And you can find the link below if you want to click on that. But basically, you have to have these healthy fats in your diet. If you have diabetes and you want to reduce your carbohydrates, which you should, especially the processed carbs, uh, not the carbs that comes from legumes, uh, vegetables, and fruits, of course you have to reduce your portion size, but that's definitely not a way to eliminate. You should not eliminate those foods from your diet. You should keep them, but reduce the proportion and increase your exercise. Because anytime you introduce any carb to your system, if your body is not going to use it, if you're not, if you're just going to keep sitting down, uh, then you are not going to take benefit from that food because that food will turn into fat and will get into your blood, will circulate as a fat and will turn into bad fats such as triglycerides and LDL. And then if you are not able to reduce your intake, just turning to a highly saturated fats and ignoring the polyunsaturated fats and monounsaturated fats, in this case, olive oil, uh, your sunflower oil, your corn oil, your fish, your walnuts. You know, those are good things that you have to consume to have an overall healthy life. Again, diabetes is not just a blood sugar disease. It is a cardiovascular disease. So you have to protect yourself from cardiovascular disease, from insulin resistance. So uh, the bottom line is uh, if moderation, if you cannot do moderation, you have to either increase your exercise or you have to reduce your portion size or you have to use medication. But you don't want to go the wrong way just because you cannot necessarily stick with what is right. Guys, remember to subscribe and remember to give a thumbs up and share this video with the family and friends.